What's up guys, welcome to a new episode from my FIFA 14 tips and tricks series. I will present you with a very efficient way of stopping counterattacks. In this first situation, here as you can see, I am in a very tough position. In that area of the field I have one defender and my opponent is coming on the counterattack with one, two, three players. My only way of solving this problem is to move with the defender that I am controlling towards my goal and wait for my defenders to come back in defense. If I do this move, I will be able to cover a low pass to the wing and also protect the center. You don't need to press any special buttons, just move back with the defender. While I go back with the defender that I have selected, I am pushing the second man press button so my other defender makes the charge for the striker. In the second situation, things are looking even worse than in the first one. I just lost the ball in the middle of the field and my opponent is making a counter-attack with 5 players that are in very good positions. I have 4 defenders but, but I am still outnumbered and again my only chance is to move the defender that I am controlling in the back so I can cover more ground. At the beginning I am not pushing the second man press button because I don't want my players to go out of position but as soon as I go too deep with the defender that I am controlling and I see that my other players have reclaimed good positions in defense, I second man press my opponent to don't give him any more room. I draw him to the sideline and easily get back the possession. This brings me to the third and final situation where I will show you how important it is to give the opponent the sideline. Here I make sure to cover the center and force my opponent to run to the sideline because it will be much easier for me to close him down there. As you can see your defenders will get in perfect positions if you give them some time to come back in defense. You will only be able to do that if you stall your opponent by going back with the defender that you have selected. I am sure that this will help you a lot in your defensive game. Make sure to drop a comment below and tell me what would you like to see next in my FIFA 14 tips and tricks series. It would be amazing if you can drop a like at the video and don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 14 content.